Hey there, commanders. This week's community goal is another commodities-based community goal. We are once again hunting relatively common, abundant commodities that you can find at just about any, I think it's industrial or refinery economies, uh, at least for titanium aluminum. Uh, power generators and computer components, I believe, are high tech. Don't quote me on that. I'll, I would have to do a lot of um, hard digging, and it really doesn't matter because you can always just jump on the commodities page in Inara and just search for what you're looking for. In this case, aluminum. Um, I have the best export markets up on the screen, fleet carriers, small pads, and surface settlements filtered out, and then ordered by quantity highest first. Uh, Darleton Orbital is probably the best place to go, station distance 371 light seconds from its central star, which means that it's not hard to get to even if you don't have a fleet carrier. But fleet carriers come highly recommended any time that you uh, want to do anything with commodity goals because it vastly simplifies the process of collecting and getting everything that you need done. Um, now the reward structure this week's a little bit different. Uh, we have no exotic modules or crazy ship mods on offer. This is all paint jobs. However, all you have to do to get the first tier reward is trade a single ton of whatever commodity it is that you want, and you'll get the Spring Tranquil Paint Pack for the Crate Phantom, Diamondback Explorer, Type 9, and Anaconda. Now, if you don't have one of these ships or you've already got a premium paint job for them, I could see this being relatively unappealing. I don't know what the Spring Tranquil Pack is. Actually, let me show you. When you get on the game store, you've got these Spring Balm, Spring Serene. I wasn't able to find the Spring Tranquil, but I would imagine that whatever it is they're going to give you at the end of the week is going to have some semblance to whatever these paint jobs are. And, and I'm not really into flying a ship around that looks like a giant Easter egg, so I'm probably not going to participate in this even for the one-ton commodity, but it, I could see there being commanders who are interested. Um, now, Spring Lush, Explorer Lush, um, Explorer Spring Lush. So Spring Lush is, what is this? Um, well, these aren't Spring Lush either, so I have no idea what these paint packs actually end up looking like. But this is the most paint options that I've seen offered in a single event. So if you're just trying to start collecting uh, items you normally have to pay for in-game, then this is probably a good way to do it. It looks like Elite Dangerous is going to conduct a hard transition from giving away ship exotics to likely giving away paint packs and items from the game store, which is pretty common across the whole industry. Games like Halo Infinite and Destiny 2 have been doing stuff like this for a while. Um, Destiny 2's probably got a better model though because their, a lot of their cosmetics can affect gameplay depending on what armor you get. But then again, the, uh, what is it, transmog and um, ornament systems kind of make anything look like anything. So it, I guess it all really doesn't matter all that much at that point. But I digress. This is not a difficult community goal to get involved in. Um, if you want to make top 50%, you're looking at hauling at least, well, 3,200 is probably not going to secure you a position. I would probably go for at least 4,000 tons to make sure that you don't have to constantly babysit an ARA, but you should always check it every couple of days during events like this if you really want to get top 50%. This Easter egg thing isn't very appealing. So, uh, you know, if, unless you're really into specific liveries, I don't actually recommend that this community goal is worth a lot of time. So if you've got engineers to unlock or other things you want to do, uh, probably good to do that instead. Um, there's not a lot of FOMO here to be concerned with. Um, note two, if you are going to hit the export markets, you do want to have these filters on. Large pads are the way to go anytime you're trying to haul bulk commodities, especially if you've got to haul 4,000 tons. I don't want to try to do that through a medium pad with a python that just take too long. Uh, aside from that, I don't think there's any other interesting options if I happen to have missed something important. Um, oh, depending on how well everybody performs in this community goal, it dictates the number of starports that will be built. We are currently at tier zero. Inara estimates 55% completion in four days, which means you know, we'll probably land somewhere between tier four and tier six, depending on how they've structured everything out. So 
Uh, if you are a commander with a home system anywhere in the Marlinist space, I don't personally know anyone who is, but then you probably want to be more aggressively participating in this. Other than that, um, we've got the normal credit rewards. There's no other weird modifiers in place. That's basically this entire community goal in a nutshell. So uh, let's see, that looks like all I've got for today, so I will catch you guys later.